uh, I've had a lot of issues with my hips and my elbows and my shoulders and TACFIT has helped me kind of break up all of those things that were, were stuck or were, if I was injured, I really hurt my elbow one time in a tournament and the doctors right away, they told me, man, you need to sling that elbow, you need to not move that elbow um, and immobilize it. And I came in and the TACFIT coach was like, no, you're gonna move it. And it's kind of like, which one do I do? Do I sling it and not use it or do I move it? And I took that leap of faith and I had slinged a previous injury on the opposite side and it was had so much scar tissue, it was hard for me to use that arm. And so I said, you know what, I hurt this one even worse than the previous elbow. So what do I have to lose? Let me just move it. It can't get worse than it's already it, it already feels. So Every day I did the tack fit movements. I did, I did my elbow circles. I did all these movements that my coach was telling me to do. And I couldn't believe the rate at which my arm was healing. And now to this day, it's been two years since that injury. The elbow that I hurt and put in a sling, I still feel it. I still get the creaks. I still get it to where it locks up and gets stuck. The elbow that I hurt worse, that I never stopped moving. I moved through it, massaged really tried to rehab it with movement that elbow made a full recovery so that right there was my hooking point in truly believing in tack bait because I had done both I had injured and kept still and I had injured and healed through movement and I feel like if you can't move well how can you get stronger like how can you build strength without being able to move like you watch a young child move and play and they can move so well and then as we get older we get stiff we get tired we get stuck like our body it's like i i joke with my parents like you can't let your hips turn into beef jerky like you wiggle the beef jerky eventually it just turns white and it's gonna break that's the same that's just our, how our body is so i feel like if you're focusing on being able to move well it's just going to translate into everything else if you're a good mover you can build on the strength i think what tack fit does is it forces us to move in ways that are we don't see in traditional gym settings. We see very one plane movements. We see curls, we see presses, we see squats, but our joints are not singular, you know, in the way that they move. We have ball and socket joints. We move in different patterns. So as adults, we fall out of that natural range of, of moving or the way that kids play and they move and they, and I think that's what tack fit brings back into a, is into the, the program with adults is it teaches adults to bear crawl. It teaches them to move. It teaches them to go upside down and to roll like we used to. And all of those movements are using all of our joints, our hips, our ball and socket joints in the way that they were designed to move. So kids do it naturally just because they're discovering their bodies. They're discovering what they're capable of. But then as adults, we fall into such rigid, rigid routines, we don't move that way anymore. And that's something so special about TACFIT is it brings people out of their comfort zone and re-challenging our mind to move how we're supposed to move.